What's up guys, I hope you're doing all right and welcome to a brand new video. Um, today I'm going to show you different ways on how to get Comet XP pretty fast. So yeah, if you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing or leaving a like. I would really appreciate it and let's just start with the video. So yeah, like I already said, I'm going to show you the best methods today to get Combat XP, the best methods I know so far. And there are a bit of methods for every state in the game. So let's just start with the first one. So the first method I'm going to show you today is actually in the end and I think that's a pretty well known one. That's just Enderman farming. And as you can already see, I now have a God Potion and a um, Booster Cookie. Inters, but if I kill one enderman I get 67.6 .6 combat XP which is a lot and that's only on the first floor because if I go down a bit more where they have more life like here 9000 HP oh you stole my kill and I kill them now I get already 74.4 combat XP so guys yeah if you do this for a bit of a time you get really fast a lot of combat XP and I pushed all the way from level 1 to 19 I think only by killing those enemies so yeah um, I also did it and it's a pretty effective combat XP method um, of course if you don't have the damage to kill them one shot I would recommend going for the first ones with 4000 HP if you don't have the damage to kill them I'm gonna show you another uh, method that you can also do um, in a bit but what you can also do of course is killing zealots um, that's also not bad for combat XP but I wouldn't really recommend it it's just that zealots can uh, ha have the chance to drop a summoning eye if you kill them and um, this summoning eye sold for actually quite a bit I think it's around 800 oh yeah, 830 uh, 820k on the bazaar approximately so um, yeah you can get a bit of money while farming combat XP if you want but this method is way slower than the method I showed before what you can also do now guys if you do a bit less damage is just go to the hub and then actually go um, right here to the graveyard currently it's the season of Jerry so it's a bit snowy uh, you can just go here oh what am I doing you can just go here to the graveyard and then um, you try to find this person here and you go a bit behind and there's a cave and there you can go in to kill the crypt ghouls like you can already see here you ne actually need a super bomb TNT that you can buy here to open this wall or like I have you can just use your um, fast travel to directly go into it and those crypt golds only have 2000 HP so they are less um, so they're uh, so they're not strong at all and they're also for early games pretty easy to kill and what you can only do is like kill them and for one for one you get 54.1 comet XP which is also a lot and of course um, here they spawn also pretty fast so you can farm a pretty consistent and good amount of combat XP here um, what um, is pretty special about this place is that they are also like the golden combat goods as you can see here and if you kill them you get a bit more combat XP 84.5 which is even more than you get from the endermans and since they are spawning pretty consistently and uh, pretty fast you can also farm a lot of combat XP right here coming now to our third place so the third way to farm combat XP is also one of the best ones and that's actually by doing your best cherries, be best best cherries. And yeah, I don't know if you know what is this, guys, but basically that's like if you kill mobs a certain amount of time, you get your best cherry level up for the certain mob. And I'm currently only best cherry milestone 14, and I get as a reward um, plus two health. But if you get a bit higher in the reward milestone, like 16, 17, 18, you can get 500,000 combat XP per milestone or 100,000. I think for a uh, best milestone 14, you already get 100,000 combat XP. I think 16 and 15 or 16, 17, 18 is already at 500,000 combat XP. And higher up, you can even get to up to 1 million combat XP, guys. So yeah, just by killing mobs a lot of time like for example in the dungeons dungeons just by getting your um, best cherry level up on those guys you can actually make a lot of combat xp if you push this a bit for example you can also do it with afk farms on your island for slime minions and other stuff or um, for example for the goblins in the crystal hollows i will link an afk farming videos to them um, also down below in the description that you can check out if you want and yeah coming now to our last combat xp method 
So guys, our last combat XP method is actually um, with Slayer Quest. I already presented you Slayer Quest in my last money making video. Check it out, it's pretty good. And thank you so much guys, by the way, for the support. We got over 300 views on two videos now, so really thank you so much. And um, yeah, so with the Slayer Quest, what you can actually do is like kill the bosses. There are different bosses. There are Revenant Horror, Tarantula, Swan Packmaster, Voiding Seraph, and Inferno Demon Lord, and it's going up. Ah yeah, that's that's the uh, old ones. And um, if you kill them, you get a certain amount for of combat XP. For example, for Revenant Horror Tier 4, you need to kill, um, I think, 5,000 XP worth of zombies to spawn it, and then you get, I think, around or 5,200 or something like this, and then you get around 600 XP from the boss. So if you do this pretty consistently in the um, Crypt Ghoul, um, where I showed you already, here the um, the hub crypts. If you do this there, you can actually farm pretty quick a lot of combat XP just by farming those boss. And what you can also do is do revenant trading. I will also link on a video on how to do revenant trading in the description down below because it's a really complex um, thematic and I can't really explain it well in my own terms. So just check the video out. You can also do this, and I think you can earn up to two hundred thousand combat XP an hour, if I'm not wrong right there. So that's also a lot, a lot, a lot. And you can do the semi AFK. So yeah, guys, um, definitely check this video out. It's down below in the description. It's pretty well explained. And yeah, that's it already for the video today. Um, for the video today. I hope you enjoyed my combat methods. And if you did, um, please leave a like and subscribe and have an awesome day. Bye, guys.